Hello everyone! Hello Eileen Nation! Welcome back to our channel! For today's video, we will be doing pronunciations. So, kailan nga ba at bakit dapat tama ang pagpronounce o ang pagbigkas ng ating mga salita? Makakatulong yan lalo na upang mas maintindihan tayo ng ating kausap, especially in the English language. According to EnglishClub.com, pronunciation, which is a noun, is the way in which we pronounce a word. Paano natin binibigkas ang mga salita. While pronounce, which is a verb or pandiwa, is to make the sound of a word. So, pronunciation refers to the way in which we make the sound of words. So, to pronounce words, we push air from our lungs up through our throat and vocal cords, through our mouth, past our tongue, <laughs> and out between the teeth and the lips. So, these are all essential in producing sounds of the words, okay? So, sometimes, air also travels through our nose, okay? So, to change the sound that we are making, we mainly use the muscles of our mouth, tongue, and lips to control the shape of our mouth and the flow of air. If we can control the shape of our mouth and the flow of air correctly, then our pronunciation is clearer and other people understand us more easily. Mas maiintindihan nila tayo dahil tama ang ginawa nating pagbigkas o ang pagpronounce ng mga words. Speakers of different language or languages tend to develop different muscles of the mouth for pronunciation. When we speak a foreign language, our muscles may not be well developed for that language, and we will find pronunciation more difficult. Siyempre kung hindi tayo bihasa o sanay sa isang lingwahe na hindi natural sa atin, mas mahihirapan tayong i-pronounce o bigkasin ang mga salita nila. So, by practicing the foreign language pronunciation, by practicing the foreign language pronunciation, our muscles develop and pronunciation improves. I have here several words that are hard to pronounce, but not so hard really, and that we often make a mistake in its pronunciation. The words come from scmp.com. Okay, so the first word. Will you please read it? <laughs> All right, it's cupboard. Cupboard. All right. So it's cupboard and not cupboard. It's wrong. It should be cupboard. So although this word literally means a board, or table for cups and other things like plates and bowls, the P is silent. Again, the word is covered. Second word. Please read. Okay. That is epitome. Epitome. Okay. So, Harry Potter fans are ahead of the game when it comes to this word. The meaning or meaning a person or a thing that is the perfect example of a particular quality. So like Hermione, the end vowel is sounded. So it's epitome and not epitome. <laughs> so don't you ever say epitome but it should be epitome. Mm -hmm. 
the next one. Please read. All right. That is Salmon and Almond. Okay. So these two popular foods are tricky because the L is silent in both. So you don't say Salmon or Almond. But instead, you should say salmon and almond. Then we have, please read. Okay, so it should be library and February. Okay, so it's not pronounced as library or February. <laughs> That's the typical accent of the Filipino, okay? But instead, you say library and February, okay? So, this one is a problem for many non-native English speakers as well as a lot of native English speakers who only speak English. So, don't worry if you find it difficult. O hindi ka nag-iisa. <laughs> because even the native English speakers find it difficult. So the brr sound, okay, before the re sound can be a lot for anyone to get their mouth round or around. Okay? So it's library and February. Okay? The fifth word. All right. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. This word looks like it should take far longer to say than it does. The middle three letters look like they should be a separate syllable. But the truth is, they sort of get swallowed. Okay? So they're there because the day is named after the Norse god Odin, a.k.a. Wooden, and therefore making it Wooden's Day. And with that comes Wednesday. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Not Wednesday. <laughs> okay, so it's not Wednesday, but instead it's Wednesday. Alright. Next one. Okay, that is clothes, clothes. So this is a good example of the magic E where adding an E to the end of a word changes its vowel sound. The end of the word can be hard to say even for native speakers. So the combination of the hard TH and Z okay, is quite mouthful or hard. So here, you say the hard TH the same way as it is, or the same way as it sounds with this. So that is the hard TH. Okay, can you do that? Okay, please. Okay, medyo nakakakiliti sa tang. Okay, medyo nakakakiliti sa gila. But that is the hard TH. Now, ano yung soft TH? Okay. Ayan, nagtalsi ka ng lawa. <laughs> Alright. As in, cloth. Okay, so cloth has the soft TH. And clothes has the hard TH. Now, magkaiba ang meaning ng cloth at ng clothes. Don't get confused. So when we say cloth, that is tela in Filipino, cloth. Hindi pa gawa. Hindi pa siya nagyayari ng modista. Okay? So, cloth pa lang siya, tela. While clothes is pertaining to our damit. Okay? Yari na, pwede nang isuot. That's why it's clothes. Okay? Our seventh word. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is yoke. Yoke. Remember Francis M. Yo, yo. <laughs> yes, yes, yo. Alright, but this one is yoke. And not yok. Okay? Don't you ever pronounce it as yok. It's yoke. Okay? So this is doubt doubtly confusing. 
because it describes the yellow part of the egg and it would make sense for the L sound to be heard just like uh, it is in the color. But it's not. It rhymes with joke and folk. Okay, so joke and folk and yoke. Okay. Now let's move on to the eighth word. Okay. That is southern. Southern. So, even though this does refer to the compass direction south, it isn't said the same as in south, but it is pronounced as southern. Southern. She is from southern Leyte. That is, southern. Let's have the ninth word. This is very easy. Okay, that is, women. Women. So, even though the first three letters of this word are the same as the singular woman, but the vowel is very different. So, you are going to pronounce it as women and not woman or woman. <laughs> okay. So, it is women. And down to our last word. All right. It is espresso espresso so from uh, for some reason many people put an x sound into this word but please resist do not uh, put an x sound to this so it should only be espresso espresso and not expresso <laughs> okay so it's espresso and that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to pronounce words well and correctly. Okay, we'll have part uh, other parts, okay? Because there are a lot of words that are hard to pronounce, okay? So the, the words that I have given today are just um, very easy or easy words to pronounce. But still, uh, we get confused in pronouncing these words. Alright, so there will be other parts or part 1, part 2, part 3 of this pronunciation and we will make this as a segment here in our channel, my dear Eileen Nation. Alright, so thank you very much for uh, watching my videos and for giving a like, okay? To my videos thank you for watching all right so keep safe island nation and um, be safe okay god bless everyone bye